Hi everyone, uh, I'd like to welcome you again to another uh, Table Talk. Uh, today's uh, discussion, uh, and I guess it's kind of a discussion and a review, is uh, on the Emax RS2306 2750KV motor uh, for use uh, primarily in uh, park jets. Uh, if you found this video um, looking for information about it being used in a quad, uh, that's not what I'm going to be talking about. This is essentially uh, the type of park jet that I fly mid-mounted uh, motor here and I'm running it primarily on six inch props uh, two bladed props with uh, a 3S battery so that's the application that we're going to be discussing uh, today alright so this motor is uh, I picked this one up from Hobby King it's about twenty two dollars US um, the shipping uh, for the last several months has actually been free uh, but these are available, uh, it's a very popular motor, they're available, you know, all over the place, eBay, that sort of stuff. Um, <clears throat> it's a very, I will say it's a, I've run uh, this particular motor right here now, I've actually run about a hundred flights on it now, on uh, in uh, three different airplanes. And if you've watched any of my flight videos, I certainly haven't been kind to it, I've been putting it through some, uh, some pretty serious punishment, but it's, uh, you know, it's, I guess that's what you do, you know, when you get it, you didn't, you don't buy a, a sports car to uh, drive it around, uh, drive it around town in second gear. So um, I've been really, uh, you know, putting it, putting it through its paces to take advantage of its power. So it's, uh, you know, my impressions are it's a really, really uh, well-made motor. You know, it's a very, very smooth. Uh, all the, the, the spacing and everything in, inside here is, uh, is really, really tight, uh, good tolerances. Uh, quite lightweight, you know, with a prop, uh, the way it is right now with the prop and the X-mount hardware, it, uh, it's only weighing about 48 grams when you compare, uh, you know, this is a, your standard 2212 size motor, uh, this one with a prop and all the hardware is about 67 grams, so you're saving, uh, right away you're saving uh, 19, about 19 grams, 0.7 of an ounce. Uh, you know, I think every every single gram of this motor is uh, is dedicated to to producing power, and uh, I've been very impressed with it. It's run very very smooth, uh, strong, uh, plenty of torque, um, which I'm going to talk about a little bit more when we get into the to the actual thrust numbers, and uh, I've just been very very impressed with its uh, with its performance. So you know, it is twenty two dollars. That's a you know maybe a bit to spend. Uh, on a motor when you know you can get these 2212 2700 kb motors you can get them from like you know seven bucks so essentially you can buy three of these motors for the price of, of one of these um, I have run this I've tested it on the bench with uh, three different props this is the 6x4 APC gas prop that I have on here right now which for me is is probably my favorite prop for this motor um, but I've also flown it this is a 6x4 APC electric it's actually a knockoff uh, from Hobby King, but it actually has performed quite well. Um, I, I don't have any way to gauge exact speed of my planes. Uh, there's you know a little bit of difference maybe in speed, but nothing that my eyeballs can really tell. But it is louder with this uh, with this prop, so that normally kind of tells me that uh, there might be a little bit of energy or a little bit of thrust loss just in prop flex. It is, it is a bit more flexible than the uh, 6x4 EPC gas. I've also run it with, uh, this is the 6x4 uh, KMP um, from, I got this one from Banggood. Uh, if you buy them from Hobby King, they're, they're TGS props. They're uh, uh, quite, quite stiff as well. <clears throat> you probably on the bench and in the air, uh, top end, probably a little bit faster with this prop, but again, it's, it's uh, fairly noisy, but I think that's mostly due to the prop, uh, prop construction, prop blade. But um, again, uh, very, very good performance. So I'm going to talk mostly uh, the numbers that I'm going to talk about, and I'm going to have a supporting blog post to this uh, video uh, with links to you know the motor and the gear and stuff that I've been running with it, uh, as well as a link to my motor test spreadsheet. I did actually test it on the bench with the uh, Turnigy AE 45 amp. Uh, speed controller, which I've been running quite a bit with a lot of other motors, but for some reason this this particular motor just didn't seem to. Uh, I ran it through a whole bunch of custom settings, and it just didn't really seem to like um, the 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 power it was getting from the Turnigy AE45. 
Uh, quite honestly, it, it uh, performed um, uh, considerably better or noticeably better with uh, the Turnigy Plush 40 amp. Um, now I'm running, this is version 3.1. This is, uh, you know, I, I bought most of my Plush speed controllers a few years ago. Um, I'm still waiting for Hobby King to get some 4.2. Their current ones they sell are version 4.2. So I'm waiting for them to get those back in stock. I'm going to pick up a 4.2 and do some comparative testing and see if the 4.2 uh, provide any better power to the motor. I know that the uh, battery elimination circuit has been changed. It's now, uh, I think, a 5, five amp, 5 volt is what the, the, the BEC is. Uh, so, but I don't know whether or not they've done anything to the processing. Uh, actually, the, it runs the absolute best if you're looking for the best power mid-range and top, top end. Um, this is the Hobbywing Platinum Pro 40 amp speed controller. I picked this up from Banggood. Uh, it's, it's quite expensive for a 40 amp speed controller. You're paying uh, essentially a buck American per amp. It's about $40 right now. I picked mine up uh, for about 25% less than that, fortunately, on sale. But it really does, um, this motor really, really uh, works well with this uh, on 3S. But I did need to do quite a bit of testing on the bench with my thrust stand to find the best um, settings. Because actually the, the default settings for this speed controller compared to the default with this speed controller, i.e. if we just pulled it out of the package and plugged it in, uh, is actually worse than with the plush. But I did find some good custom settings. Uh, 26.25 degrees on the timing and uh, 8 kilohertz on the uh, pulse width modulation frequency and then it really really um, <clears throat> really really performs well. So just quick and dirty I'll just run uh, run some numbers down. It is uh, you know compared to some of the uh, the 2212 it is uh, you know uh, quite amp hungry. Uh, at mid throttle uh, with the flush it's uh, drawing uh, about 17 amps, uh, but it produces about 620 grams or 21.9 ounces of thrust. At full throttle, it's drawing 38.4 amps, uh, but producing about 1,040 grams, 36.7 ounces. With this hobby wing, uh, the mid-range power jumps to uh, 647 grams, 22.8, about actually close to the same amp draw. Uh, really pulls uh, 42.6 amps, uh, 1,075 grams, 37.9. Um, <clears throat> so it is it is quite uh, amp hungry uh, for such a small motor. Um, but it uh, where where it fits in now again you know these this is a this is actually a, a 22126 uh, 2700 uh, used to be called a, on the RC Powers forum a lot of people refer to it as the uh, focal price 2700 because they were one of the first vendors that sell it. They're very, very hard to find now, but the only place I can find that sells them is um, Deal Extreme. And the quality control in the last couple of years has, has really gone downhill. Um, I've had lots of people tell me that they've tried them and they're just not performing anywhere near to, uh, to specs. So I'm not really going to get into that one too much. This is the 2212 5T 2700 KV. Uh, which I've done, I have done some bench testing and some field testing, quite a bit of field testing with this motor. Uh, this motor you can find everywhere, uh, you know, Banggood, uh, Gearbest. I get mine from Gearbest. The ones that I have tried from Banggood, uh, they tend to run very, very hot. But it's very inexpensive. You can pick one up for about seven bucks. So essentially you can get three of these for the price of one of these. Um, but they are, you know, you get what you pay for, the quality control. Uh, they do tend to run hot. I think they're rated as a 25 amp motor, but I quite regularly run them at uh, around 35 amps, and you know they they hold up pretty well. But uh, I don't think they uh, you know they're they're quite as uh, durable as what this motor would be. Plus, <clears throat> you can't really this one. I think you could push even harder. It's rated at 58 amps, and uh, if you watch some of the videos, I'm going to link videos in the blog post. Um, to uh, RC Plane Pirates um, YouTube channel. He's really, really pushed this hard in uh, bench testing. And Hobby King's website says it's a 58 amp motor, so I think it could be pushed uh, even harder than what I'm pushing it. So, uh, where does it fit in in comparison to this motor? 
Uh, top end, it's producing a bit more, um, this, this motor is producing a bit more thrust, maybe a couple ounces more thrust, uh, but it's pulling, it, this is pulling considerably more amps. Where this motor really, really stands out compared to uh, these, these sort of no-name uh, 2212 5T 2700 is mid-range. It just blows them away. Uh, mid-range performance is uh, like on average like 100 grams more thrust, which is just unbelievable. So what it actually makes the flight, um, the flight experience is that actually when you're flying around at mid-throttle, obviously, it, you know, I'm going much faster, my planes are going much faster than I am with this motor, and it also feels like, you know, when, you, when you're just tickling the throttle, you need a little bit more power, or when you really hammer it down, you really, really notice that it, for a, uh, you know, physically uh, smaller motor, I mean, the stator is half as tall on this motor as it is on this motor, it physically, you really, really notice that it's got a lot of mid-range torque, and then, you know, it really, really winds out uh, well. Like it doesn't have any, <clears throat> you know, on a full throttle run, or then pulling up full throttle into, a, you know, a full throttle climb out. It does. There's no lag, sag, hesitation. Like it is really ready to get up and go. So, uh, you know, again, twenty, twenty-two bucks compared to seven bucks, it uh, it really, really performs well. Uh, again, you're saving. You're running about. The, you're running the same size speed controller and probably the same battery, because of the amp draw. But uh, you're saving uh, 19 grams in weight between these two motors. So it's you know it's not a whole lot. 19 grams, 0.7. But it's you know it it, it is what it is. Those are those are the numbers. So um, yeah, mid range it really really blows it away. I mean 100 grams thrust difference at mid range is is quite considerable. Um, so, um, just just kind of extending the discussion a little bit more, you know, if you've been flying park jets for quite a while, uh, like I have, this is the uh, the NTM prop drive 2836-2700 kV motor, which, uh, you know, for a long time was kind of the, uh, uh, you know, V8 of park jet motors. It's, uh, you know, uh, big and heavy and torquey and powerful. Um, but you needed to run it with, uh, you know, a 60 amp speed controller. Uh, even with, you might be able to go down. I've bench tested this with the 6x4 EPC gas, similar to what I'm running on this motor right now. And it actually it drops the amps down a little bit. It's pulling about 47 or 48 amps. It produces top end. It produces a little bit more uh, thrust, about 40 ounces of thrust top end, whereas this is producing about 38 ounces, you know, when you're optimizing it with the hobby wing. Um, and again, you're, you know, I, I'm, I don't run it, I've always run it with a 60 amp speed controller on 3S. Uh, the, the big difference is this, this setup with a prop is, it comes in at 176 grams or 6.2 ounces, whereas this setup comes in at 92 grams or 3.2 ounces. So right away, you're saving 3 ounces, which is, you know, more than the difference in top end thrust. But not even so much the top end thrust, because you're saving so much uh, weight, uh, you know, the wing loading, the flight performance, the wing loading that you're saving is just, you know, it's, it's night and day. I mean, when I used to fly these, uh, you know, if I would have really wanted to, with this motor, if I really, really wanted to push a plane hard uh, aerobatically, uh, I had to put a lot of reinforcement in it. So most, you know, even the lightest plane I probably ever built using this power setup, you know, including the battery, I was at around 25 ounces, and I've actually built built planes. Uh, you know, really focusing on keeping them light but strong. I've built planes under 20 ounces with with this motor setup. So, you know, again, uh, relying on my eyeglass assisted 56 year old Mark One eyeballs, uh, because I, I you know I don't really have any way to test the speed. I would say that you're getting, I'm getting. Uh, about the same uh, flat out speed, um, probably the same acceleration, uh, mid, -range, mid range throttle, these two are about the same. Again, the amp draw is higher with this one. Um, but, you know, the flight experience is, to me, is, is a lot more fun because, it, it, you know, compared to taking the same plane with uh, weighing 25 ounces as compared to 20, uh, 20 ounces, 
is just night and day. I mean, your plane is a, is a lot more nimble, it's a lot more agile, um, and you know, just, just uh, an amazing flight experience to fly. So anyway, like I said, it is, uh, you know, for its size compared to these other motors, it's, it is expensive, uh, especially if you really want to go to town and, and pick up this uh, Plat uh, Hobbywing Platinum Pro. But if you keep an eye on it, uh, Banggood has, you know, regularly has some pretty good sales. Um, you know, I've seen it recently, uh, it was on sale for about 50% off. Um, but you do have to go with the custom settings. Uh, so, because the default doesn't work well. So, you know, Turn as you Plush, uh, which is cheaper, about 17 bucks, 15, 15 to 17 bucks cheaper, works just fine. Again, not hugely noticeable differences uh, in the air. So, uh, you know, you can save yourself a few bucks. So you can go with, uh, you know, a $45 uh, power combo or, uh, you know, about a $62 power combo. Like, I'm not going to go out and buy... A whole bunch of these, um, you know, uh, just because I'm running this motor. I have a couple of these motors now and a couple of these speed controllers. So I'll save this speed controller for, you know, the really high end uh, speed setups uh, that I run. So that's sort of where, uh, you know, that's sort of where it fits in. Like I said, a very, uh, one of the biggest reasons that I wanted to start playing around with these uh, quad racing motors is, is the weight saving. Uh, you know, it's, it's unbelievable power and torque for, for small size motors. Uh, the other thing, as I've mentioned, I did a, uh, a table talk on the RC Timer 2205-2550 already as well. Um, the, it's, you know, it, it's at the sort of the opposite end of the spectrum of, uh, of all the uh, uh, park jet motors that I've tested thus far. Now, I have a few more coming that are, I think, are going to be in the same sort of power range as, uh, as this one, but like I said, the, where I really, really notice the difference with this is the mid-range power. It just blows me away uh, that this motor, you know, is producing uh, 22 ounces of, uh, of thrust mid-range, uh, like almost 23 actually with the hobby wing. So, you know, I'm flying around. I spend, you know, although on all my videos, I, I certainly like to rip by and, you know, do those, uh, try and do those exciting uh, high speed, uh, you know, low low altitude, high speed passes. But normally I'm spending, you know, most of my time, 80% of my time at around 60% throttle. So if I'm flying at 60% throttle and I've already got a one to one or greater than one to one thrust to weight ratio, uh, it's pretty amazing. It makes for a pretty fun, uh, pretty pretty fun flight experience. So yeah. So anyway, if you're looking to, uh, you know, if you're looking for some serious power. Um, you know, uh, compared to, you know, a 2212 5T 2700, which I know is a, is a very popular power uh, park jet motor. Uh, you know, this is definitely well worth a look. Again, uh, you might have to dig a little hard deeper into your, into your pockets or, you know, search around maybe on eBay, uh, Amazon, something like that. You might be able to find this for, uh, for a little bit cheaper. Um, like I said, Hobby King has it for free shipping, so that kind of lessens the pain a little bit. But I, I think that, uh, again, I'm not getting any kickbacks from Hobby King or Emacs, but, uh, but I think that, you know, for the price I paid, I'm getting every single ounce of, uh, uh, I'm getting power for, for every penny that I spent. It's, I'm really, really uh, happy and impressed with, uh, with how strong and uh, powerful this motor runs uh, for a park jet. And I would, you know, again, I would compare it, this is probably over my park jet career, you know, uh, coming on six years almost, this is probably on 3S is without a doubt the most powerful, you know, straight straight line setup that I had run before I started uh, experimenting with this. Uh, but now I would say that this overall gives me a much better flight experience because I'm saving so much weight and reducing my wing loading. So, uh, yeah, so there we go. Um, the, you know, it's a, just a real thoroughbred, real powerhouse uh, little motor. Uh, for using in a, in a park jet if you, uh, you know, you keep the size and the weight uh, down. Um, so I'm going to have, again, a link down below. I'll have uh, a supporting blog post for this video with uh, links uh, to all this, you know, m most of this gear here that t in relation to the, uh, to the Emax 2306-2750 motor uh, that I've been using. Uh, I've done, um, like I said, I've had a couple write-ups, lots of field testing with it, and I've run it... Uh, you know, very, very hard uh, on 3S. Uh, the other thing is, I think that, you know, if you really, really were wanting to
crank out some speed. I mean, I have not tested it on four cell, but you know, just using a 25% rule, um, you know, you might still be able to get in with this prop. You might still like a guy. I'd have to check RC Plane Pirates videos. I don't know if he tested it on 4S with this uh, 6x4 APC gas prop, but uh, you know, theoretically, you're going to be over 50 amps, so you probably have to go up uh, to to a bigger and heavier speed controller. But I think if you put this thing on 4 cell with a 6x4 uh, prop, you're going to get some serious, <laughs> serious, serious power out of it. Uh, so it, it is, you know, expandable. I think you could probably take it uh, and punish it a lot more than I have um, on uh, on four cell anyway, or you know, with a maybe even a higher pitch prop. I'm not sure. So uh, <clears throat> yeah, thanks. Uh, check the like I said, check the comments down below. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Uh, park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.